Today, a woman who witnessed history in 1963 is in the Queen City to tell her story. Sarah Collins was just 12 years old when she lost her sister and three of her closest friends. People really don't understand, you know, you, you're in a bombing at the age of 12. That did a lot to me. What started as a typical Sunday morning nearly 50 years ago quickly took a deadly turn. Four girls ranging in age from 11 to 14 were killed after white supremacists planted a bomb in the Birmingham 16th Street Baptist Church. The faces of those four little girls have since been seen in movies and history books. But a fifth girl, Sarah Collins, made it out alive. She wasn't a willing victim for the civil rights movement, and yet she has been an incredibly powerful person, though she herself has been forgotten in the history books. Karen Umbus helped organize a campaign around Collins' story, a story that for years went unheard. Well, back there, uh, I wouldn't get out that much in speaking. And uh, like what I said, I, I was going through a lot. I know it kept me afraid, and it, it kept me nervous and uh, so fearful. The emotional pain of losing her sister and the physical effects, blindness and facial scars, kept Collins quiet. But now she's found her voice and finds peace in teaching a new generation life lessons. My message is, you don't judge people by their color, you know. You just, just love people, you know, just show them love. It took 50 years, but the story's coming out, and I'm really, I'm really happy that it is. I think it's an important story for people to know.